from the first stirring so we'll be continuing our to the great my let's the play age. with England the man taking his first upright steps you have come far now um, begins your greatest so let's see where we picked where we stopped and where we'll pick up again um barbarians waiting mm. so there's something in the fog of war here that's not allowing us to settle presumably cities um Yeah, so there's that. Um, let's see. Here's another settler sailing out. Um, it's going here. And uh, let's see. I need to make landfall. I want to set our city here. It's functioning as a canal and having the tea um, as well as pearls one two three yeah well, as well as the pearls um, but I will need to handle those so um, oh wait he already moved I really dislike the horse archer Oh well. Let's get him out of the way of the horse archer, actually. So. Uh. That's bad, my dear. Um, Damn, those barbarians. There's a lot of them. Uh, but I seem to be... Okay. Um, that welcoming party isn't fun. Is this, yeah, that's the end of my warrior there. Okay. Okay. The man who has grit enough to bring. That is good to know, though. Um, Here, it should. Okay. 
I want those spearmen. Can I get those? I need to... Ah, uh, crap. Okay, so you need to kill three barbarians before you can... Well, it gives you the boost to bronze working. Which I would really love to have. Um, uh, let me... Um, wait... Uh -huh. That one could be useful as well. Okay, Spearman is the same production as a heavy chariot. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna work my way through bronze working without the boost. Uh, for both iron and... Um, and the Spearman. Yeah, cool. Not so cool. Okay, so... This delays settling a second city quite a bit, actually. Which is, oh oh wait wait wait! Damn, they're devastating. Okay, I have a promotion available. That's um. Damn. Okay, uh, you embark. Let's hope there's no barbarian galley or something around. Um, well, ooh, money, money, money. Okay, money isn't really that useful. Um, but hey, we can always use something more. Hmm. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, I'm assuming this means they have the same government as I do. Um, Oh, wait. Is that the end? Ah, oh, crap. I'm somehow not liking barbarians moving in and shooting in the same turn. But I might get used to that. Okay. Um, we want to get... We want to be able to, to plant a holy site. Here or here. Um, pom, pom, pom. this is some some jungle jungle, so this might actually be best. Stone that one, yeah. Let's go for it. Um, okay, so here you see very clearly that a unique district has the added advantage of always being half price of a regular district in that city. Um, see? So. Um, because there's a natural wonder near here, this gives me a plus two bonus. This is plus one on the forest. Okay. Campus should yield. Yeah. Plus one between the jungles. Plus one here because of those jungles. Cool, um, but all in all, production is quite uh, low. Uh, let me see if I can start a monument here, and then um, um, right, citizens. All right. Uh, this way, you set focus. So, um, without actually uh, locking in, I can set focus to something. And this means ignore. Um, this is default. So, I can say focus on production, ignore faith, for example. Um, or ignore food. Which means it will find the tiles with the highest production and the lowest food possible which is the two food one production in this case okay um, but I'd like to focus a bit more on production for now so I'll leave that on and keep it here um, halves the number of turns for my monument needed um, maybe that barbarian moved along nope it did not unfortunately um 
Okay. Open borders with Tamaris. Um, is she the one in the south from my city? I don't think so. No, we don't need. He should reconsider. Or not. Um, no, those are the Greek. Cool. Oh, she's over here. Right. That's far away. Cool. Um, so, that one isn't that much of a threat anymore. Um, I'm going to try this. Okay. Um, what does the lighthouse do? Plus 25% combat experience. Nice. Housing. Okay. Um, okay. That is to say, I do need another builder, for example. Oh right, Mercury isn't that effective. Okay. Uh, I still need another builder for here to get that going. I want the bananas hooked up. I want the cattle hooked up. Uh, give me a lighthouse first though. Okay. Nice. Greek destroyed that one. The opportunity has arrived for a change into a new and more powerful system of government. Let us strengthen our identity. Politics is the art of the possible, cool. the attainable. So I got the, the political philosophy. The next best. Um, gives me the first three governments. And uh, uh, oh right, the two diplomatic, two diplomatic um, guards. Yeah. So those are new. Cool. Um, but I want a new government. See, these are still locked. They're very dark, bluish. And the ones that you actually can choose are more, well, lit up. Um, cool. Uh, let's see what's going to be useful. Plus for combat strength. Experience for combat units. But bonus to great people. With a district, receive plus one amenity. Amenity? What's the English? Uh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, boost all yields and bonus on wonder protection, but that gives me two military cards. Okay. Um, seeing all the barbarians around, um, I think I think I might go for oligarchy. And again, Classical Republic and the plus one amenity should be nice. Because it gives bonus to great people. But if you get your city to happiness, uh, to, to be actually happy because of this, um, that gives a ton of extra stuff as well. Hmm. Well, plus four is huge. I'll go oligarchy first. Uh, to deal with the barbarians and then later on I could always switch to the to the other one um, I don't have met that many city-states yet so I'll be going for the first envoy you sent to each city-state counts as two that should give me a nice boost um, let's see this just got more powerful again I definitely need this one um production to naval units or land melee melee land melee units gain plus for combat so um this one makes the most sense actually Yeah. 
Uh, do I keep the production on the settlers, or should I go for... I have two settlers running around, one settled, one running around. Um, I actually do need a bit more of them. Uh, I'll keep it in for now. Yeah, so. Cool. Um, oh, right, so I switched governments, and now... Tamaris isn't that fond of me anymore. Uh, let's see how this works out. Um, we've sent them a delegation. Different governments, they dislike our proxy governing, and we've sent them. There. So that's. Ah! Then again, she's backstep at first. Um, so she's not very likely to actually backstep. She'll make it known before she attacks us. America is actually one of our bigger, better friends. We have different governments, but that's about the the only thing that's wrong between us. Um, he's an environmentalist. Doesn't clear features. Plans for us, like civilization, starting wars against. Hates civilizations. Check. Okay, I'm bound to clear some few features uh, in the future, so we'll probably get a few hits. But let's hope the declared front part builds up quite a bit, and that will help us along. Um, joint war versus. Ah, okay, right, right, right. So, never mind. Um, Pericles, how are you doing, my friend? Okay, so not too good. Hmm. Try to be friends with him, make a deal. Okay, so it cost me one to get open borders, then never mind. Cool, okay. Um civic. Oh right, I need a new new um course. Um construction, build a wonder. Construction is here. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Uh construction is here. So I need a water mill to boost. Water mill comes from the wheel. And I don't have even researched that, let alone built one. Uh, to actually research construction, I need masonry. And that's quite a while out too. So, um, not going to wonder for that. I'll just struggle my way through. Um so there's that. Okay. Now let's see how we can go. Oh damn, I need to sail around. Missed that. Hello. Suppose a lay paint and proscor and pollen prosemon. Okay. Which one is that? Ah, crap. Oh, they're actually not that strong. That's about Lisbon. Does yield me a promotion though. That's good. Make me stronger versus nothing. Okay, this is kind of. Uh, do you guys see the the sort of a promotion tree? Um, but picking the strength versus nothing units. Um, 
leaves me out the sight range until I get the movement first. So this path goes me gives me uh, combat strength versus naval units, then combat strength when defending versus range attacks, which is quite useful actually. Um, this suggests would this be an and or an or like from reinforced hull could I pick convoy or would I need uh, rudder and reinforced hull before I can pick convoy will be interesting to see um, he'll add that any in information okay cool I'm going for the strength anyway for now in Civ 6 uh, picking a promotion and your turn always but it all also heals your unit and that's rather useful as you can see right here which means that I don't have to sail all the way back to a city to heal up it's just pick the promotion healed up but it ends your turn my liege we have an envoy at our disposal we can use oh. the envoy to gain favor with bronze the is the mirror of the four iron Wine Spearman. of the mind. And the encampment, of course, which is cool. Um, oh, wait. Let me show the... Uh, the barracks as well, because it's interesting. Barracks give you production and housing. And... Um, unlike earlier civilizations, it's not just production for units. It's just general production for your city. Which makes the encampment quite interesting the stable basically that's the same thing just gives your combat experience to cavalry class units and the barracks gives them to melee and range units um, when you go further down the three you get to the armory um, another 25 percent combat experience in this case for all land units so cavalry melee and ranged um, and also another general plus two production uh, don't get me wrong you need the you need the industrial zone eventually for for production bonuses to your cities um, but an encampment works quite well especially early on because well you can build it early um, oh wait, I actually need to pick a technology as well um, let's go for the wheel for now We'll get to that. Uh, Birmingham needs housing. Sure. Oh yeah, the envoy. I want to dive into that. So I know two city states. I have no envoys whatsoever with them. Uh, inspiration recorded history and the Eureka for archery. Okay. Geneva is a scientific city state. It's blue, so scientific. Uh, one envoy gives me plus two science in the capital. And it's influenced by Scythia with only one. Okay. <coughs> Lisbon um, gives me gold, four gold. It's influenced by two city civilizations already, Greece and America. I'm not really seeing why I would invest in Lisbon, so my envoy goes to Geneva. This is the first envoy I sent there. So, confirm placement. Let me open the screen again. And I have two. How nice is that? I love that policy card. I really do. Um, especially since at three, so the next one, gives me, uh, well, the science in every campus disagree. Fun. Um, but it also gives me this one when I'm the first. Um, your cities earn 15% science whenever you are not at war with any civilization. So, um, I suppose Scythia in one go. That, that's the easy part of this. Uh, so, um, there's that. Okay, so, um, I got a notification for a great person. Let's see which one... Okay, great admiral. So, um... Right. 
I can now recruit him or pass on him. And if you pass, basically say, well, I don't want him. I save my great person points. Um, it does cost me eight out of the um, thirty-eight. Eh? I should be at forty. That might be a bug, though. Okay. Anyway, um, it lose. I I lose eight. Um, cannot be undone. And the points will be spent to apply as a discount to the great person, allowing other players to acquire it for less points. Which means that the next player, I, I won't be able to get this great admiral anymore. But I still have to wait until it's picked. Um, and if I now say pass, I will never get the chance again. I'll drop to, I'll, I'll, I'll lose 8 points and um, the other ones will require only 32 points to recruit this one. Uh, since they're all still at zero that might take a while before the next great admiral becomes available in this list. Um, so I'll recruit him anyway. The, um, the things he can do. He has a passive effect which gives plus five combat strength and plus one movement to classical and medieval era naval units within two tiles. Uh, the other one is forms a fleet out of military naval unit so, and that means he retires and he's then gone uh, classical and medieval era naval units another fun thing by the way is that you can switch to the biography of that specific great person and there's quite a bit of text there I'm very sorry I didn't read it all um, yeah, there it is. I recruit him. Our civilization's attention to the naval arm of our military has given rise to a great admiral in our ranks. When deployed wisely among our ships. Okay, cool. Um, it specifically said classical and medieval. So, I'm going to check for a bit. And I think I did it already in the first episode. Because it means my galley won't have any use for him. Uh, Quadrant Bill, because it's classical, and Medieval knows no ships. So, it's only the Quadrant, which is kind of strange. It also means I'll keep my, I'll keep him here in the city. I don't need him to go out and get lost, basically. Oh, we found Jerusalem. That's nice. It has a quest construct a navy, Royal Navy dockyard. Damn it, we already have one. Um, yeah, I read that. Um, cool, I met a new one. City state bonus. Okay, because I'm the first major civilization that meets Jerusalem, I get a bonus one envoy there. Now, Keep in mind the policy card we had, that the first M4 counts as two. Et voila. That's why that card is so powerful to have in your early game. Put it in as quick as you can. And then meet all the city states. It helps immensely. Um, this also gives me plus two fate in the capital, which is actually quite nice. Uh, it pushed me over the threshold for a pantheon right away and that will probably be the last thing we do in this stream yeah um, so oh, probably early uh, God of the Sea might always be interesting on a island plates map uh, plus, plus one production from the fishing boats uh, there's quite a few very interesting pantheons here um, Holy Site Districts, all of them, plus one faith from adjacent to desert dials, could be interesting. Holy Site to a river gives plus one amenity, very nice. Uh, wonder, production from marsh, oasis and floodplains, not really useful for me. Culture from pastures, like you can see there's... Um, 
some pantheons from Civ 5 have been brought over, obviously. Um, there are a few new ones is there there as well, um, or they've been reworked to work with the new Civ 6 mechanics. Um, mines. This was always a nice, well, favorite of mine. Um, Yeah, what to do, what to do. Reversed. How many fishing boats do I have? Are we getting one here? One. Uh, should we get that city? That's two, three. Uh, one, two, four, eventually. Five. Okay. Five production. That's not that much, actually. Um, I might actually go for the city road or the fifty faith. Yeah, I'm going for fertility rate. City road rate is ten percent higher. Well, there we go. Nice. Gives me an inspiration. Of to, uh, in other words, the boost for the civic tree uh, mysticism. Um, oh wait, these are the religions. There's uh, we're with four players, and it, I think it follows the same formula as in Civ Five. So you divide the number of players by two, add one. That's the ma maximum number of religions you can have in the game. In this case, four players gives three religions. One is founded. That's protest. Protestantism. Damn, English is hard. Um, let's see what they have in there. All world wonders provide plus four faith and allows construction of what's. Oh, that's a nice building. That's the third building in a uh, holy site district. So you got a shrine, the temple, and then you get the what? But that's a very nice one. Um, Pantheon. Plus 25% production toward ancient and classical military units. And it's the Americans that have founded this one. Cool. It's only dominant in one city yet, so that's not not that that far yet. Um let's finish up this turn and um where the F did that horse archer go? I do not like that I don't know where he went. Um, Admiral can sleep for now. So, um, I'll put a break here. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.